if you are a salesforce developer appearing for interview these questions are for you let's move to the first question that while using lms we provide one parameter named as message context what is the use of it now if you have ever used lms what usually we do is we write a, there is a publish and there at the other end we have a subscribe right and we have to also provide the channel name as well and all that stuff but the first parameter parameter itself is the message context if you remember the first parameter we provide is the message context so we import the message context we write the wire for that message context we create a variable for that message context and we pass it as a first parameter in publish and subscribe now basically the use of this message context is that to describe from where this event was fired so let's say i have component number 1 and component number 2 okay these both are unrelated to each other that's why we are using lms now let's say i'm passing an event or i'm passing a value from the c1 to c2 okay from where like for an example if i'm publishing an event they are unrelated to each other how would c2 know where this component was coming from right so that's what we do we what we do is we provide the 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 context where it was fired from like for an example using message context we are telling to the c2 or we are telling that this component or this event has been particularly fired from the c1 so to define from where this event is fired from we provide the message context okay it describes where this event was fired from so let's move on to the next question it says that in js file of lwc component why do we export default and then our component name so if you have ever used an uh, ever written an lwc component we have export default class the component name that we have extends the lightning element okay if you go to the js file this is the step usually followed now what exactly over here is happening is that the export default keywords exports this component name okay so, uh, like that is the component class that we have created for the other components to use so basically let's consider it this way okay basically let's say i have a box okay i just created a component named as uh, let's say my component name was component name okay uh, i have what i have done is using export default what i have done is i have exported this particular component from this box okay now as soon as this component has been exported outside this bot bo box sorry uh, outside this box what i am trying to do is now this component is specifically available to use for another component so basically what i am trying to do is i am trying to export this particular component that is nothing but a class actually i am exporting this component so that it is accessible or can be used by other components as well so that's why we provide the export default class component name so that it is accessible to other components as well let's move on to the next question can we use lwc in the quick action answer is yes we can also pass if you want to pass the record id you can directly pass the record id using at the rate api and you can automatically pass the record id as well if you are using a quick quick action but as per as the summer 21 release you are able to use the lwc in the quick act actions itself so this was all about the interview questions that i have discussed in the previous shot if you found this video helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel